Greetings Earthlings! Well, I've got the uh, PC boards back from JLC PCB uh, to make the uh, replacement for this HP part uh, which is falling over and one of its pins is broken off. Uh, you can see I've built one. I got a, I got a whole bunch of them and uh, I made some mistakes. So, um, I'm going to have to, assuming it works, uh, I'll have to make an, a new, uh, a new version of it, but just to see if it works, uh, I've put one together. Now, as you recall, perhaps I had found three sets of matching, uh, resistors for the voltage divider. I took the worst match. For this set, these match to like 0.026%, um, and the best was 0.002%, I think. Yeah, 0.002 was the best. Uh, I'm saving that <laughs> in case it does work. Um, then the real one uh, will get will get that set. Uh, but I'm also curious if it does work if that difference can be calibrated out. So this will be a, a fun little uh, thing to try. Uh, in terms of the mistakes I made, well, I don't know how this happened, but those pins there, all the pins, well, these are like 0.1 uh, inch spacing. Uh, what is it, 5.08 millimeters or something like that? Uh, these are spaced every 0.2 inches. For some reason, they are spaced 0.175 inches. Um, and that was my mistake. I went back and checked the, uh, you know, the KiCad <laughs> files, and that's what I told them to make, but I don't know how it, how it got like that. Um, these the spacings on these are okay. Well, it turns out that one there is in essentially the right place. So uh, if I turn this over, you can see um, I use these uh, these pins. These are from uh, Milmax, okay? And the particular ones I used, manufacturer's part number 9081-00-15-00-00-08-0. Um, they look kind of like that, if you can see that. There they are. And uh, I forget how much they cost. I, I got some different kinds, and these were not the most expensive ones. I think they may have been like 11 cents a piece or something. I had about 100 of them. Um, so I used those pins, which are pretty rigid, for um, the, uh, the pins that are in the right place. For the pins that are spaced improperly, I just took some uh, uh, leads, you know, clipped off leads from a diode or resistor or whatever, and uh, soldered them in there and, and bent them to fit. So I'm hoping that that will work. Uh, so I'll get this plugged in. I haven't tried this, okay? So I have no idea what's going to happen, but I'm going to get this plugged in. And uh, we'll fire it up and see if it comes to life. But I'm going to leave the plugging in and the uh, associated swearing that goes along with it uh, off camera. All right, and here it is in place. Um, yeah, I forgot to point out what, okay, I, I pointed out these three resistors. These are uh, switching J FETs, and then there's two surface mount resistors right there. The J FETs, by the way, are MMBF4093s, N channel J FETs. Okay. And I got 100 of those, too. Uh, so uh, we'll try it now. This pin didn't actually go in properly, but it's, I think it's making good enough contact that uh, it 
it should be it should be close enough. Connect power. And we do the uh, smoke test. Let's see. I put I got it on volts, auto, range, smoke test. No sparks. Okay. Getting random readings. I don't like that. But it's not. Oh, uh, well, wait. What was it doing before? I don't even remember at this point. Um, okay. What if I short the terminal? So I've got a shorting bar on here. 0 0.024. That's actually pretty good, isn't it? On the 10 millivolt range. So that's saying 24 microvolts. So that's just a uh, that's just a calibration, a zeroing issue. Um, let me grab some leads and put some voltage into it and see what happens. Okay, we're connected to the uh, Fluke 343A on the 10 volt range. It's currently set to zero. Let me give it one volt. Why, why does it say 10 millivolts? <laughs> That's supposed to be one volt. Two volts. Oh, now that's interesting. Three volts. Four. Well, see, there's the four, but what's this all about? Back to zero. Let me go to manual range. And I'm going to put it on, uh, let me put it on a 10 volt scale. Let's see what happens. One volt, no. Two volts, no. Three volts, well, you know, four, five, it's, it's kind of working. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, the decimal point is shifted. That's, that's odd, but it's mostly working. So I've done something wrong. I'm not sure what. Okay. I'm on the 100 volt range. There's 10 volts. There's 20 volts. Yeah? 30 volts? Hmm. It's like there's a... Uh, it's like the range here doesn't match what's selected. It's like... Right, because that's 10 volts. Um, it thinks it's on the 100 volt range somehow. Or, I mean, the reading is if it were on the. It's, it's a. It's, uh, you know, the voltage divider, presumably, is the, is the issue there. I guess. 20 volts. See, this should overflow. But if it's on the 100 volt, if that's reading as if it were on the 100 volt range, eight, nine, and here's um, 100 volts, 100, you know, 0.13. Um, huh. I don't get it. One volt range, one volt. Oh. That's now correct. Two volts. Overflow. Good. One volt. 1.1 volts. 1 1.2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. That seems okay. The one volt range it should be a straight pass through. But why is it on the 10 volt range? Acting as if it's on the 100 volt range. What if I go to the 100 volt range? What do we get? Let's see. 1 volt. 2 volts. 3 volts. Ten volts. Well, that looks right. 10.23. 20. 
30, 40, wait a minute, go back. 10 volt range, 1 volt. Yeah, well, it's saying 1 volt. So there's something screwy with the 10 volt range, it looks like, 20, 30, because I'm on, I'm now, uh, yeah, giving it 40 volts, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 volts, 110, or 101, yeah, 102, 103, 4, 5, up to 110, okay. This thing is so close to working. <laughs> Um, why the 10 volt range is, let's go down to the 100 millivolt range then. Switches, okay, so here's 100 millivolts, and it's saying 10 millivolts, that's wrong. There's 10 millivolts, yeah, okay. So the 100 millivolt range and the 10 volt range are messed up. Here's the 1 millivolt range. 1 no, 10 millivolts. I'm sorry, this is a 10 millivolt range. So here's 10 millivolts. Yeah, and that's wrong. Let's see what it does. Let's see what it does with, with, with a resistor. Ah, 100 ohms. Again, this only does four wire, so we bring out the four wire test probes. These are um, from Pomona. So there's a uh, two wires in each of these and they only connect together down at the tips. Let's see. This is weird because they're all red. So which is high and which is low. This is low. And this is high. And I switch to ohms and I should get are we on auto? No, let's go to auto. And I'll short them together. And we see zero. Pretty close to zero. Again, it uh, that can be adjusted out. No problem. So. This should be very close to 100 ohms. What do you get? Very close to 100 ohms. Let's try the 1 ohm resistor. Well, that doesn't look right. I don't know what to make of that. Um, let's see, I've got a 10 ohm. Ten ohms. Well, nine point eight. Yeah, again, this is this is off. Just like, so it's like it's like uh, yeah, the uh, the multiplier is not correct, and and it could be perhaps that pin that I uh, said didn't. Uh, seat properly in the socket that could be a factor for all i know i i mean you know i don't know Going back to volts zero volts one volt no that one volt was correct it was a 10 volt range right um here yeah. There's 10 volts. Oh, <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> I thought that wasn't working. Wait. One volt range, right? There's one volt. 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4. Was, it, was, it, was this working a minute ago on the one volt range? 100 millivolt range. There's 100 millivolts. That's correct. Let's go to the 10 millivolt range. 10 millivolts. Uh-oh. It started working. Auto. 
one millivolt, 11 millivolts, 111 millivolts, 1.111 volts. Wow. 10 point, no, 11.11 volts. 11 point, yeah, okay. Let's go to 100 and let's, 111. Huh. Well, I'm going to play with it and, uh, you know, see how well I can calibrate it. Um, but, and I will get, I'll, 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 I'll modify, you know, my KiCad files, get proper boards made and, and make up an actual, uh, you know, version that will be a more or less permanent solution, it looks like.